Countries look to get business moving again. Brussels is trying to coordinate a response and cushion the blow. Here to discuss what might happen in the next few months is the former Greek finance minister, who's also a professor at the European University Institute, George Papakonstantino. Thank you very much for joining us. Just give us Thank an you. idea. Do you think the EU is providing sufficient support to those countries who are right now in economic crisis? Well, the, the exit strategy that the EU announced is, of course, a broad set of recommendations. What is, is more important is the actual economic strategies of, of the different countries and the EU of support. And at the EU level, we have two things. We have the ECB and its uh, asset purchase program, which ensures liquidity into the market and that keeps the markets content that um, there will be no sudden stop. That will last until the end of the year. Perhaps it will be extended further. It will probably have to be extended further. What is still missing to accompany this uh, sort of the uptake of the economies is uh, some fiscal support at the EU level beyond what has already been announced. Because what has been announced so far has to do with the, the dealing with the, the crisis proper, but less so with financing the recovery. And a lot of how we exit this will depend on the confidence that is in consumers and businesses that the recovery will happen. We know that part of the recovery will depend, of course, on the health uh, uh, determinants themselves, the, the testing, the vaccines, the, the, the treatment, but also the economic support. And that's where we're looking for more uh, uh, action on behalf of the EU. Hopefully next week we will have some uh, news from the European Council in this respect. And this is the real challenge that governments and the EU have, is balancing those health concerns finely tuned with that of the economy as well. Just tell us a little bit more about what's happening in Greece, because at the start of the year, you know, tourism was really booming. Actually, the economy was doing quite well after a decade of austerity. What has the pandemic done to Greece's economy? Well, if we, if we look at the um, projections that are out there, output this year is expected to drop anywhere between 5 and 10%, uh, probably closer to 10% than to 5%. So um, the, according to the IMF, uh, Greece's economy will suffer more than any other economy in, in the Eurozone. So, And this is terrible for a country which has gone through a very, very difficult uh, period, which was uh, uh, seeing now better days, uh, output was supposed, GDP was supposed to go up between 2 and 3 percent this year. And part of the problem is, of course, that we're very reliant on, on tourism. And, um, and that's a broader also European problem because, yes, we're coming out of lockdown, but will the internal market function? Will transport links be there? Will people be allowed to move around? That's an issue because even if the restrictions are lifted, people will be reluctant to do so. And they will be reluctant until the health picture uh, becomes clearer. So in Greece, we're expecting a very bad 2020. And the hope now is that 2021 will see a recovery. The broader just very in briefly, if I could, sorry, kind of just for time, yeah. is that actually the measures that the Greek government put into place quite swiftly in the country contained the virus in a fairly successful manner that we haven't seen in other European countries. But of course, the economy is going to be a real battle next. Do you think the Greek government have taken the right measures at the right times to best protect the economy? As you say, the uh, the reaction to the to the health issue has been swift, and we have some of the best statistics in in Europe on this. Um, the government is has rolled out a number of measures for uh, to help the economy. The the problem is that even those measures are not going to be able to avoid a very deep recession. And the question is how much of a fiscal space the government will have to continue these measures even in 2021. And that's where European help will become very very important. To, to therefore allow that in 2021 we have a, a robust recovery, even in Greece. Thank you very much for speaking to us. The former Greek finance minister, George Papakonstantino, really appreciate your time.